Hello all, we are, I am going to talk about uh, TCP reset, how we can do the TCP reset using the virtual machine. Here I am opening the two virtual machines, I have Ubuntu server and Ubuntu attacker. On the attacker only the, I have the receiver, I will be using VLC media player as well. But before that let me show you something what I am going to do. Here is the victim and I installed the attacker also on the same victim PC and this is the web server which will be broadcasting the audio file using the VLC media player to the victim and the attacker will sniff the packet that victim receives and send the reset flag on TCP connection towards the web server and after receiving the reset web server will assume with the correct sequence number will assume that oh this is the request to close the connection and it will connect close the connection so we can see that from our virtual machine okay let's start our server room here server uh, let's go to the little bit for a code okay what i have in my python program i open my this is my code here what i am doing is I am snipping the packet, you can see, because the snip command is on the SCAPI. I am using three tools, SCAPI, Python, VLC Media Player and the WAS app for this whole lab setup. For snip, I am using interface ETH0 because I am using the Ethernet 0 for both one, for victim as well as the attacker. You can see I have config, okay, I am using the Ethernet 0, I have set the IP to 56.2, okay. I'm using that one here you can see the 56.2 and this is the spooked packet that I have made it using the scappy way of making the spoof packet and after taking this file I'm taking I'm moving all this uh, port towards the just a minute okay I'll show you I don't know my PC get hang or what it is just after sniffing I can show you I, I send this packet to the packet handler okay ah oh, it's gone thank god yeah I can show you here this sniffing I am sniffing ethernet 0 all the packets not all the packets only the TCP packets and here I am taking only the two packet for the sniffing and after that I am passing it to the packet handler what is the packet handler is doing this is the one of the function that I have already defined where I will be abstracting the IP and I also compare that IP whether it is the IP of the victim or not. If the, it is the IP of the victim, I will get the sequence number of that victim TCP send packet and send the sequence number I will be passing into the one of the spooked packet and making a reset flag on and I will be sending towards the destination. Destination is the one of the host. Host is the one of the server that is broadcasting the audio file. Okay, 5061. I will show you this, and now I will show you also the how I am going to stream the PLC packet, PLC audio file from server to the victim. And before that, you can see in the virtual machine that your network should be made internal, and I can show you here. It is the internal network. Ah, it's glad we have the internal means my both virtual machines are connected with each other. Here I can go and show you about the server. Here this is the VLC media player and here I can show you my IP address. I have config. Oh, you can see this is the server with 168.56.1. And that is what we use to keep that IP on the attacker side to sniff the packet. Okay, let's stream one of the audio file using the VLC media player to the stream option like add audio file i'm adding one audio file here okay and uh, the same audio file i want to be stream i'm doing the next here i just select the http and add it just remember this port what is used it so that at the at the victim side we will be putting the same port don't care about this path this is just a simple method of uh, broadcasting audio files streaming the audio files I'm using mp3 and now I start streaming it let's move towards the attacker here this is the VLC media player let's open that 
open network stream those network which are on the same can have like streaming using this http url and you can see about the how plc can stream in the google let's play it yeah you can see it here now it started to be streaming and the audio file is started playing now let's move to this one we can see this is the wireshark that i opened or i should show you again okay i'll show you again how i have did this wireshark sudo wireshark okay i opened the wireshark we can see all the tcp packet that it has been captured between the host and the victim you can see oh let's see the there is the tcp connection between host and you we can see one one okay this is the one of the search like dot two is the host and dot one is the server that i have already shown you now you have seen this is already playing here now i will fire one command which is having the sniffing the packet of this audio connection and it will reset all those connection using the reset flag let's go to the terminal i have all the packet in my desktop so i will do ll yeah i have tcp reset one sudo python tcp reset and it will reset the connection ah audio is stopped playing you can see it stop it's not moving anyway and here i can show you wow you can see here the reset packet that is send it it's good we have able to do the tcp reset of those connection maybe in the server side it is still playing but we have already stopped in the victim side we have made the connection closed and we can see it from this wireshark also we send the tcp reset from 56.2 to 1 you can see here 56.2 to 1 i am sending the reset flag okay now i will just little bit change this code and i will show you that i just insert random signals number one two three four and i can show you it will not affect the connection after now this random sequence number the same code will not work because sequence number is important for the tcp shape let's move here let's see the video let's play it again stop and again start streaming uh, we can see it is still streaming and here also now the streaming started since the wireshark wow still the connection is going on we have different sequence number and acknowledgement is going on as it is like uh, virtual machines where like wireshark and plc media players we don't see the really variation in the sequence number they're using their own sequence number and it's just 133 and other things but still i can show you i have changed the code here i have assigned the random sequence number one two three four and this spooked packet will not be able to now reset the connection and it will be still playing this 46 okay so we can do it fast wow i did it but still i can show you the connection is even going and there are 45 now 56 57 is moving on we are not able to disconnect the connection let's see it's still going on hmm it didn't make any change so this i can say that the sequence number is really important part of this connection to close the tcp connection okay now i'm changing to the same i'm saving the tcp reset by okay but this is stopped because streaming has been stopped the file was not so big it is not one hour this is the server side i'll open this one again i yeah, started streaming we go in the attacker side we start it again wow started streaming now we go and again close it we close the connection you can see it just stop it's not moving this connection is closed and we can see verify it in the wireshark just see 
we send the TCP reset and the connection is done. This is how we can do the TCP reset in lab and we can show that how the TCP reset is used to close the connection. This shows that TCP connection though it's the connection oriented it is also the vulnerable if certain attacker is spooper are sitting on the same same lab he can snip the packet and close all the connection this is just example for using vlc media player this can be done with the uh, youtube also and from others tcp connection here the same code is the packet and depending on the source and destination ip we can spoof the packet source port and close the connection that's it it's done Thank you for watching. Thanks a lot. Bye.